Let's get this roof up. Let's go, baby. All right, here is the bit of the confusing part here. Typically, we're using an inch and a half micro lamb ridge rafter. So we figure our rafters to die at the edge of that ridge rafter. And then we have an inch and a half flat spot on top, which is not a big deal at all. But since we're using a five and a half inch ridge beam here, if we had just our rafters coming off of the edge, if we figured it out the typical way, we would have this five and a half inch flat spot on top and our ridge cap would essentially sit completely flat. It would look really odd. So our cuts at the top of our ridge need to look like this. So it's gonna have a bird's mouth at our beam on the outside and at our ridge beam. So they're essentially gonna go like this right here. That is the confusing part of figuring out what is our overall run to set our ridge. So what we did was essentially figure this out like we're not doing a ridge raft or a ridge beam at all. We're taking it off this top point because our rafters are gonna meet in the center. Then we're gonna do two inches here, come down, and that's gonna create our notch around our beam. So we just need to figure out our typical height like we normally would with our pitch, and then we can subtract two inches. That's gonna be the top of our ridge beam. And then subtract the height of the ridge beam, that's gonna give us the bottom of our post. We haven't done this type of rafter before, but uh, we got it figured out and we're gonna be good to go. gable pin going up on the front side. So again, this is a structural ridge, five and a half by uh, 12 LVL going up here. So this is gonna carry a lot of the load. So we need that direct load path going from the ridge onto this six by, through our beam, down this six by, into our other beam, down to the footing. Direct load path. So uh, it's very important that we make sure that this is important. Get it? Same thing back there. Six by going straight from our beam on the deck all the way up, support that ridge. And that is going to allow us partially to do this phantom post in our corner because our ridge beam is gonna carry a lot of that load, especially because we have a lower pitch here. So all these parts work together as do we to make this come together. All right, let's see what we got with this roof. My guys are flying here. Really doing a great job. You can see uh, what they're doing right now. We've got all of our uh, standard rafters up. Let's show you these show rafters, baby. See up here, all of these two by four notches 
that are taken out. That is gonna allow us to put a two by four on the flat overhanging and that's gonna give us our gable overhang on the front to match our uh, soffits on the sides. It's gonna look really sweet. And you can also see here, now that we have these up, how this is gonna be supported at our ridge. What's Catherine making? She's making a desk. Oh. It's just like, she seems to really be having a good time with it, so. It's nice, too. I'm just trying to shoot a clip here. <laughs> Looks like, you know, I don't know. All right, you can see. We've got the five and a half by 12 LVL ridge beam. You can see it's supported on both ends. So that is really gonna carry a lot of the load for our roof structure, especially because we have somewhat of a low pitch. That means a lot of that force is gonna be applied at the ridge. And that's why we wanted to have this ridge beam instead of it all being carried by our side walls. That's part of what is gonna make it possible. Take this bad boy out. When can we take this out? After sheathing? Okay. The sheathing on this is pretty important because uh, the architect explained it as essentially once you sheathe this, it creates a diaphragm and that load is being spread over a wider area. So it kind of eliminates a little bit of this point load and then by cantilevering this across, typically we wouldn't have an LVL across the front, but that is gonna help kind of take some of our loads. All of the load from this roof is happening up at our ridge beam and on our side beams. This beam across the front is oversized like this so that we can hanger it and it's gonna take a little bit of the load off of that cantilever. A little complicated. Hopefully the architect knows what he's talking about because that post's coming out whether the roof comes down or not. I don't care, it's coming out. Let's see. get a uh, what I want to do right now is start prepping for our patio so I need to figure out some elevations that's why right now I'm just spraying out the perimeter uh, I can take some elevation measurements start figuring out what exactly we're gonna do with our base here whether we need any type of retention around the outside we'll see We were back, we were live. We finally got this roof framed up, so we started the sheathing. I just knocked out the one portion real quick, and I feel pretty confident I'm gonna pass the torch to the new guy. He's gonna sheath the other half. Well, I build a cricket. What is a cricket? I'll tell you what a cricket is. I'm sure a lot of people at home are like, oh my God, what are you gonna do with that roof in that corner? What is gonna go into the house? You guys don't know what you're doing. That's what I'm building a cricket. It's gonna shed water from that dead spot to the corner of the house. Create, it pretty much creates a valley. Tell me I'm wrong, it's a cricket. Watch. All right, so we're on the roof, and this is what I mean by a cricket, a secondary overframe roof. This area, when it rains, this is where the water's gonna pour into the house. We can't have that. I'll show you a few little steps of how I go about building this, try to make it a little easier for you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slap a ledger against this house. What you wanna be wary about is your window and you want to leave at least five to six inches below that window so i'm just going to make my ledger at the bottom of this piece of siding and you'll level that across attach it and it's pretty much your ledger for a shed roof the next step is where that planes into which is going to be roughly here you snap a line to this corner of the house 
that's gonna create your valley. So when water is, comes down this roof, it hits that valley and shoots this way. And then all you have to do is put a few valley rafters in, put some plywood on it. You wanna cover it with ice and water shield. The roofers will take care of that. They'll take care of the flashing for us. Shingle it, it'll be dry in no time. make a mark at three quarters just so I have an idea. And then I'll do the whole bottom first. Move the rafters so that your center line yeah. is in the middle. Roughly like six inches. Okay. So around the edges you want to be at least six every now every six inches. Yep. And when you're in the guts about eight inches. I go to the top. Okay. Adjust them. Yeah. Now the tops, and then just fill. How we doing? Well, uh, what I'm doing right now is taking some screws out of this piece that appears to be incredibly structurally important. Uh, it's not supposed to be. I have it designed without this, but it's still kind of scary because uh, we have this gigantic roof. Uh, we got like a 13 foot cantilever. There's no post in this corner. There's always a post in the corner. There should be a post in the corner, right? But there's not going to be. So uh, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. Whoa, hey, you're filming too? Does anybody see my not trash? No, not yet. Yeah, why am I so scared? I'm so scared. Oh. That drops. What? That drops. Did it? Oh, yeah. Did not drop. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh. There's no post there. It's freaking me out a little bit. What the heck? Eh, there's no post under here. Took it out? Yeah. While we were up here? Yep. Oh, man. Dude, where's your post? Dude, where'd my post go? Dude, what? There's a post under here? What? Dude, where's my post? <laughs> All right. Uh, continue on. Uh, we got some... We're working through some really, really, really serious uh, high-level stuff here. What we're doing is uh, we're spraying Premier Outdoor Living on this beam, and it's gonna look sick. We're really, we're really all about branding here. We got, we got the signs that say "Watch us on YouTube." We're gonna have Premier Outdoor Living on this beam. You interrupted me a little bit, but we got Gasper here. We got roofing going on. We got some rain coming in this week, so perfect timing. I don't know where Jason went. He's gone, I guess. He's just the boss. He gets them set up and he bounces. But uh, he's actually got a YouTube channel as well, so check him out, Gasper Roofing. And uh, if you want to learn about shingles and drip edge and Tyvek and ventilation, all that kind of stuff, check him out.
like... Uh... Well... <laughs> All right, we got our slab poured here yesterday, and now we're uh, ready to start building on top of it. So Ant's got some stairs going. I am going to work on the built-in bench, which is going to be the same height as our second stair, come all the way out to the front, so everything is just nice and seamless. We've also got a ton of really cool stuff on the deck here with a built-in bench seat. All kinds of cool stuff, but we're gonna get into that on the next video, so make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.